Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Today is explanation of upcoming episode Throne of Seal based on novel. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. So let's start. Let's go then. Long Houchen waved his hand, leading the group of 13 to the Alliance's government office. In fact in this holy city, the government office was the core element of the whole Alliance's administration. Coming here to claim justice was the same as giving a good slap to the mission tower. It required courage not everyone would have. Although Long Houchen was furious, he was still so beheaded and gave it a good thought before directly going to the government office. Aside from the Alliance's government office, who else could be a match for the Demon Hunt mission tower? The majestic position of the tower wasn't something that could be easily shaken by this little group. The Alliance's government office wasn't far from the Demon Hunt mission tower, and they quickly arrived at its entrance. In spite of her young age, Chen Yinga had the worst temperament at such times, Captain, how should we go about it? Long Houchen replied in a deep voice, we will be waiting in the entrance of the government office, until the alliance make amends. What? Just that. Chen Yinga looked unsatisfied. Wasn't this behavior too passive? However, Long Houchen next motion shocked everyone else. This captain of the 21st General Grade Demon Hunt squad immediately sat, cross-legged, in front of the entrance of the Alliance's government office. Caia sat at his lap, safely held in his embrace. The location he chose was only three meters away from the gate of the office, and although he didn't block the entrance, this positioning could only be described as aggressive. At the entrance of the Alliance's government office stood two guards, who looked stupefied at this scene. Seeing this group of youngsters sit down, they didn't believe their eyes. So there actually exist people who would dare to protest at the gate of the Alliance's government office. Have they taken the wrong medicine? Under the shocked gaze of the guards, the group of thirteen gathered in a row, almost blocking the entrance of the gate. What are you doing? The two guards asked after coming closer. Long Houchen raised his hand and showed them their demon hunt squad insignia. The 21st general grade demon hunt squad comes with sincerity asking for an account from the Alliance. Luke 11 also took out the insignia of the 4th Soldier Grade Demon Hunt Squad, and the two guards that were originally prepared to act immediately stopped in their tracks. Of course, they understood the importance Demon Hunt Squads possessed. Almost all the higher-ups of the Alliance had belonged to Demon Hunt Squads after all. For a moment, they really didn't dare act against these youths. The two of them looked at each other face to face, and a guard rushed out to confront them, knitting his brows and speaking to them, if you have something to say, then say it. What's with the protest? Although he was only a guard, this one was over forty years old, and when he spoke, he had a strong attitude. Unfortunately, his threat was almost non-existent, and Long Houchen's group of thirteen didn't pay any attention to him, not moving an inch from there. The Alliance's government office being in the very middle of Holy City, Long Houchen and the others attracted all the surrounding gazes by performing such a stunt, but because of the Alliance's prestige, no one dared to come too close. A short time later, a black silhouette rapidly rushed out from the government office, and the one who came was no one else, but the auxiliary master of the Assassin Temple, Ying Suifeng. He happened to be there at the right timing, having just run into the guards, who hurriedly told him about the happenings at the entrance. Ying Suifeng wondered just who could that be so daring. To have enough guts to block that door, even if the demon hunt squads had a prestigious position, it didn't mean that they could damage the alliance's face. Imagining this gave rise to concern, what kind of image would they have if every demon hunt squad did a boycott at the Temple Alliance's government office's entrance after the slightest grievance? What sort of scandal would that be? Thus, he was in an absolute rage when he came out. But he was immediately astonished upon seeing that those who were sitting at the doorway were precisely Long Houchen and Kia. Long Houchen, what are you doing here? Just what the hell? Stand up immediately. Ying Suifeng unhappily shouted at him. Long Houchen resolutely shook his head and replied, If the alliance doesn't make amends, I won't move an inch. Bullshit, what do you want us to make amends for? Stand up and tell me clearly about it. Ying Suifeng looked furious especially at seeing that this youngster came to cause trouble. They were a newly formed demon hunt squad. It was clear that they were intentionally harming the Temple Alliance's face. Ying Suifeng didn't know about those kids' story, so he immediately felt furious. Nonetheless, 
he still didn't immediately pull Long Houchen up forcefully, since Kia was after all right nearby. Long Houchen said in a serious tone, Hall Master Ying, we wish for you to fully understand our situation before lashing out at us. You have been Kia's guardian for a long time now, but do you know that if not for the extremely good luck we had, even she wouldn't have made it back alive to be sitting here. Hearing him say that, Ying Suifeng's anger immediately puttered out, tensely wrinkling his brows, what happened? Luke Shi's group also saw Ying Suifeng, and seeing how this hall master changed his speech upon hearing Long Houchen's words, all of them couldn't help, but loosen their breaths. Long Houchen composed himself with great difficulty, and told him calmly about everything that happened before. This time, Ying Suifeng's expression changed greatly, bastards, these bastards of the mission tower. After having done such a thing. Rest at ease, this matter will definitely be accounted for. I pledge you this on my name as the Assassin Temple's Auxiliary Hall Master. Children, you should get up first. This is after all the entrance of the government office. Follow me in. Hearing Long Houchen's words, Ying Suifeng's back was drenched with sweat. The others didn't know anything, but how could it be the same for him? Although Long Houchen's demon hunt squad was leaps away from being called powerful, what combination did they form? The grandeur of the sign of light, and the saint daughter of Samsara, was sufficient to make this matter a huge scandal to their two temples. Moreover, the others of their team weren't easy to deal with either. Long Houchen silently nodded, holding Kia to help her stand up, then I will be begging for your help, Hallmaster Ying. Their protest at the entrance was only for the government office to pay attention to them, and not because they wanted to look for trouble here. Since Ying Suifeng already knew about them, he would naturally show consideration for them. Seeing Kia's sightless grey eyes, Ying Suifeng was enraged, ready to unleash his flaming wrath. He ordered the nearby guard, lead these children to the conference room. It's an order. Bring some food and drinks for them. Houchen, wait a bit, everything will be settled today. Having said this, Ying Suifeng went into the government office. The two guards looked at each other in dismay, filled with extreme confusion. Long Houchen's group headed to the conference room to rest, but the whole Temple Alliance government office was greatly alarmed. The first person Ying Suifeng looked for was Han Qian, who was in charge of daily government affairs. As soon as he told him about this, Han Qian immediately crushed his own desk with a slap. After having such a furious reaction, Han Qian immediately gathered the four other temples in the government office, and the six hallmasters for a rendezvous, what? How could this happen? Grandma San Shui also slapped the desk and stood up, appearing on the verge of breaking into tears. The expression on the face of the mage temple's auxiliary hallmaster, Lin Chen, was also quite ugly, and his eyes had an ominous glint. The six hallmasters were furious, this was simply too huge a mistake. And most of all, the demon hunt squad that was involved was intimately related to them. During their time of private discussion, it became clear that Long Houchen's demon hunt squad was simply the most important newbie squad in the whole history of demon hunt squads. The auxiliary hall master of the warrior temple, Ren Wukwang, had a frightening look, what the hell is this? If this affair was to spread out, how could the demon hunt squads keep going on? It's especially the case for those high-ranked demon hunt squads that old geezers like us cannot afford to offend. If this matter isn't resolved correctly, it will cause great trouble. The auxiliary master of the priest temple, Ruo Shue, nodded, but even so, we have to make the culprits accountable on behalf of these children. And this is a matter we have to handle with care. Han Qian calmly declared, though Hao Chen is my little disciple, I should originally avoid the grievance on this matter. But Long Houchen is the future hope of our Night Temple. If everyone agrees, we should just go to the Mission Tower together. Grandma San Shue unhappily retorted, avoid the issue. What farts? Chen Yinga is my granddaughter, and I'm not about to avoid the issue. I'll claim justice no matter what. The Mission Tower should better be prepared for a big reorganization, and the responsible person will have to be punished severely no matter what. This isn't only a failure at doing their duty, but murder of, after a short discussion, those six auxiliary hall masters immediately agreed on how to react to the matter. As a result, the furious group headed to the mission tower. Long Houchen's group still didn't know about what happened. At the time they had arrived at the Alliance's government office, it was noon, but they waited for a whole afternoon in the little conference room. At night, the six auxiliary hall masters appeared in front of them. 
Seeing those six auxiliary hall masters, Long Houchen's group immediately stood up. Long Houchen's group was immediately astonished, hastily offering their salute in return. The wrath in them was already greatly dissipated at this time. Didn't the six auxiliary hall masters' action already say a lot about the attitude of the alliance on this matter? Since their most venerable elders took such a stance, what else could they say on the matter? The severity of this punishment far exceeded the expectations of Long Houchen's group. This punishment was even too extreme to be only related to the antecedents of the members of this royal group. Long Houchen's group didn't have a complete understanding of how demon hunt squads worked. They were only a general-grade demon hunt squad with not much influence, but put into simple words, king-grade demon hunt squads demon hunters were simply above any auxiliary hall master belonging to the Temple Alliance in status. If demon hunters from an emperor-grade demon hunt squads dissolved their team, they would at least have the rank of an auxiliary hallmaster. The captain would even possibly immediately become the hallmaster. If this matter spread out, and the higher-ranked demon hunt squads learned of it, they would inevitably have no hesitation to stand on the side of Long Houchen's group. At that time, the alliance would be in even more disarray. Demon hunters were after all heroes risking their lives for the sake of the alliance. Long Houchen took out the recording gem, handing it to Han Qian with a smile. Grandmaster, these are our results from the mission, please check them. We don't know whether we completed this mission, but we did our utmost for that. Many thanks to the Alliance for upholding justice, Han Qian took the gem, and said with a sigh, Children, you had it hard this time. It's fortunate that you came back alive, otherwise, those bastards from the mission tower would have been condemned to death by hundreds. I hope this matter won't leave a shadow in your hearts. You can feel relieved you will have the reward you deserve entirely. After checking the record, we will give you an accurate answer as soon as possible. You must be very tired after this mission, go back now and rest. Yes, Grandmaster. The two demon hunt squads left satisfied. Before leaving the conference room, Han Qian warned them that he hoped this matter wouldn't be spread. Long Houchen immediately agreed on behalf of the two demon hunt squads. The Alliance handled this matter with swift indictment because, they didn't want its daily functions to be affected, leading to a crisis of trust between the demon hunt squads and itself. Having left the government office, the thirteen simultaneously came to a stop. Luke Eleven said with a sigh, I really didn't expect us to succeed so easily. On the morning of the next day, the Alliance's government office dispatched a message, and Han Qian welcomed Long Houchen in his office, Houchen, sit down. Han Qian looked at his own grand disciple, that gave him a respectful salute, after entering the office, and exposed a tired-looking smile. Because of yesterday's matters, he hadn't gotten any sleep at all last night, Grandmaster, is teacher okay? Long Houchen sat on the chair in front of Han Qian's new desk and asked. Han Qian replied, he's very well. His cultivation speed is very fast, I already sent him to the night temple. Stopping for a bit, Han Qian seriously declared, Houchen, from the record you brought back for me to see, I have a few questions. Tell me about the details regarding that tower. They are of utter importance to the alliance. Long Houchen felt shaken. He had previously guessed why Han Qian looked for him, but having to tell a lie to his own grandmaster felt really bad, when I came back to my senses, that tower had already disappeared. The hissing sounds couldn't be heard again afterwards. Grandmaster, what is it? Han Qian wrinkled his brows, pacing back and forth in front of his work desk, now is not a good time to determine it, but from the spectres that appeared in your records, this is very possibly related to the necromancers that appeared 10,000 years ago. If what you saw were vestiges of the necromancers, we can definitely not let demons get them. Long Houchen stood up, asking earnestly, Grandmaster, do you need me to do something? Han Qian shook his head, let's end it here about this matter. After you head back, tell your group not to divulge anything about this mission, so as to avoid needless trouble. Yes. Long Houchen had some hesitation, but still asked, then Grandmaster, can we be considered to have completed the mission? Han Qian gave him a glance and suddenly revealed a smile, it seems that you are looking at least a little like a captain now. Be at ease. When people from the mission tower will look for you tomorrow, you will have to keep your mouth sealed. This reward should make up enough for your trouble. Many thanks, Grandmaster. Hearing this, Long Houchen immediately felt a lot better. Like Han Qian guaranteed, 
this time's rewards wouldn't be only 20,000 contribution points, but a lot more. He estimated it to be at least 50,000 points. People from the mission tower really came the day after, but what they told them was completely different from what Long Houchen had expected. This was because they brought Long Houchen the news that the mission had been completed. Therefore, they received the reward of the mission after it had been upgraded to King's Grade after getting this news, everyone from the 21st General Grade Demon Hunt Squad was elated, we are rich. Lin Chin's ghost-like voice resounded in the whole villa. Hello everyone, where is Captain Long? Luke 11 once again swallowed his own saliva. He really wanted to give himself a slap. The profits were too enticing for him. 30% amount of 200,000 contribution points represented 60,000 contribution points. What did it mean? It mean that everyone would be able to get the medicine that can be taken only once to gain a thousand spiritual energy. This also meant that they would be able to undertake harder missions. This was an amount they would perhaps even be unable to earn over a period of one or two whole years. This also implied that they could take a firm step in the competition between their generation's ten newly formed demon hunt squads, making them only second to the 21st soldier grade demon hunt squad, and freeing them from the worries of having others catch up to them. No one could stay calm, boss went to recover the contribution points. He should be back soon. Please sit for now. My hands are still trembling, so I'll be unable to serve you water though, said Simon Zian with a dry look. Honestly speaking, the members from the 21st Demon Hunt squad felt somewhat unwilling to share the 60,000 contribution points. But Long Houchen told them resolutely that unfaithful people couldn't succeed. Although they shouldered majority of the burden of this mission, if not for the 4th Soldier Grade Demon Hunt squad's assistance, they couldn't possibly have made it back safe and sound. Long Houchen relied on the whole team's ability, leading it perfectly, so no one would retort to what he had decided, Captain Luke, you came. Hearing this voice sounding from behind, Luke 11 quickly turned behind, seeing Long Houchen carry CAIR on her waist, his limpid golden eyes were shining in a flame of excitement, Captain Long. Calling out these two words, Luke 11 suddenly felt as if his own throat was unable to speak any further. Pulling his left arm, Long Houchen completed the exchange of contribution points between the two of them, we are comrades, fellow soldiers. However, after such an unreasonable mission, I really don't dare keep going for the moment. The contribution points were successfully transmitted, and the amount of the 4th Soldier Grade Demon Hunt Squad's contribution points were immediately increased by 60,000. Luke 11 wiped away his tears with the sleeves of his garment, Houchen, how about both the teams having a look at the transactions centered together? On the first and the second floor, we can be called rich people without a doubt right? Long Houchen smiled to him, okay. We also have some things we need to buy. And we could also sell our useless stuff at the same time. Right at this time, a strange voice could be heard, please wait a bit, I have something to say. This sudden talk was initiated by Lin Shin, who had always been keeping his head lowered. Lin Shin walked until he was in front of Li Shin, before finally stopping, but Long Houchen was the one he looked at. Lin Shin, what happened to you? Long Houchen asked in a puzzled tone. Lin Shin gave him a serious reply, before we head to the transaction center, I have something to say. It is very important, so I want you two captains to be my eyewitnesses. Long Houchen seemed to be moved, thinking of something without being certain of it. Only slightly nodding, he said, I am listening. Lin Shin pursed up his lips, abruptly turning at Li Xin's direction. His movement was fast, and his sharp eyes, as well as his graceful dark green long hair looked fixedly at her, suddenly giving Li Xin a scare, even causing her to take a step back, unhappily reacting, what kind of bad thing are you up to? Seeing Li Xin step back seemed to give Lin Xin courage. Violently stepping forward, he grabbed Li Xin's hand, declaring with conviction and courage, I have thought about it for long, and on the last few days of the mission, my emotions were constrained deeply. After coming back, I finally came to a decision. You have to take responsibility for me, you have to. Li Xin had been truly shocked by his sudden serious and determined face. With so many people looking nearby, she wanted to free her hand from his grip, but Lin Xin's grip was really tight, what are you doing? Release me. What the hell do you want me to take responsibility for? Li Xin reacted filled with both shyness and distress Lin Xin immediately opened his eyes wide, grieved and indignant, what? 
You're not admitting what you did afterwards. But that was my first time. How can you act in such a way? Captains and comrades, I let you call the shots. Li Xin was quite tall and imposing, and Lin Xin was only about the same height as her. If it was someone else, when prepared in advance, she would naturally not possibly have let him draw closer. But on these days, a change seemed to have appeared in Li Xin's heart, plus the fact that Lin Xin's act was just too sudden. The word shameless could already not be used to describe this guy anymore, seeing how he took profit of Li Xin's confusion to suddenly hold her in his arms like this. Everyone in the two demon hunt squads was immediately shocked. Just what happened, what first time? Everyone felt extremely confused. Only Long Houchen seemed to understand the situation, feeling torn between laughter and tears. Lin Xin seemed to have thought it up clearly, but this was just too excessive Li Xin's sluggish state was in the end temporary, and her reaction was very fast. As a retribution knight, how could Lin Xin compare with her in terms of strength? Struggling to get her arms free, she pushed Lin Xin away, shouting with a face red of anger, you nonsense. What about your first time, you are such an unfaithful skirt chaser, how could that be a first? We should rather clearly call it my first time. Li Xin's attempt to defend herself immediately caused Long Houchen to cover his eyes with his own hands, sis, putting it this way is naturally, everyone was even more shocked and agreed by chance to draw back, leaving only these two in the center of the room. Lin Xin was prepared long ago for Li Xin's sudden counterattack, and immediately followed up like a snake, filled with energy, who said I am unfaithful. Do you have proof? I am a serious guy, who had a very strict education, way off from having ended up as a pimp. Then, since this is also your first, let me be the one take responsibility. This should be okay right? Okay. Who'd be okay with your sly ideas? Embarrassed and furious, Li Xin kicked Lin Xin. She didn't use any technique or spiritual energy, only lifted her leg with an ordinary motion. If Lin Xin wanted to avoid it, that would have been possible, but Lin Xin suddenly turned back, using his own but to parry this kick, before letting out a world-shaking miserable scream, directly falling on the sofa on the side, it really hurts. Li Xin just thought of giving this guy a good beating, but sensing the atmosphere in the villa, raised her head to look at everyone. Seeing their bewildered and shocked looks, she immediately blushed with the same red as her rose unicorn. It's not like you are imagining. I, we didn't, Long Houchen understood his own big sister too well. She wouldn't possibly really aim at injuring somebody in such circumstances. She wanted to see what Lin Xin was about to do. Instead of moving up Li Xin, his previous declaration clearly caused her to feel awkward. Long Houchen also understood Lin Xin pretty well. Although this guy was usually arrogant and narcissistic, he was still pure deep inside, completely the opposite to what he looked like. Acting this way definitely took great courage from him. Lin Xin shut his both eyes, come then. If you reached this decision, then you should just kill me. You under the multitude of stares, Li Xin got extremely panicky and didn't understand what she was feeling right at that moment, only finding this guy really hateful. How would she still be able to behave with integrity after this? But could she really pull off that blow? She clearly couldn't. Even without this ambiguity between the two of them, this wasn't something she could possibly do. This sound came from her act of throwing down her sword, before turning around and planning to run to the exit. Long Houchen hastened to stop her, Sis Lishan sounded furious, what? Even you want to bully me together with him? Long Houchen earnestly shook his head, of course not. You are my big sister, and although we aren't blood-related, I will always regard you as a dear sister. I didn't really understand what Lin Xin was speaking about either, but if after bullying you like this, he doesn't give you an account, I will never let him off as your little brother that I am. Suddenly turning back, Li Xin's eyes looked like it turned red, okay, I'm not leaving yet. Lin Xin, just tell me clearly what you mean. As he said so, Lin Xin drew another two steps closer, closing the gap separating Li Xin from him to two meters. Lin Xin's breathing was visibly becoming hurried, and his face looked extremely blushed. This movement caused Li Xin to be mingled with embarrassment and distress, but similarly, as the instigator of the act, how could the pressure on him be any lower, we finally came back safely. So everyone should relax. After handing back the mission, our two demon hunt squads will eventually split way. We have just shared a huge amount of contribution points, 
but although I felt excited from it, my chest still seemed to be filled with a heavy feeling. This suddenly caused me to realize that I couldn't keep on feeling pain, longing, every time I looked at you. When I imagined being unable to see your face, I was just be filled with an indescriptible feeling of disappointment and frustration. Suddenly, I realized that I really stepping forward once again, he arrived in front of Li Xin. After lifting up his both hands, he grabbed her shoulder, looking at her in the eyes, and declared, I really fell in love with you. Hearing him say this, Li Xin's whole body shook completely. All left on her face was shyness, erasing any more traces of anger. A few years ago, she came to like the same boy as her close friend, but this boy didn't choose her in the end. At this very moment, Lin Xin was quite more powerful in comparison to that person, Li Xin seemed to have been traumatized from that time. Since these days, Lin Xin had been in a tangle, but how could it not be the same for her? The part that moved her the most in Lin Xin's speech was when he said that he didn't want to face a possible death with such regrets left in him. The others didn't speak at all, stealthily leaving the villa under Long Houchen's hints. Leaving completely the space to the two of them, they decided to let them have a private talk. Lin Xin kneeled down, and although little flames were rising at his back, condensing into the shape of a fiery red rose, his hands were icy and incessantly sweating. I'm older than you. After a long time of restraint, Li Xin suddenly said this. Lin Xin replied in haste and eager, no problem. A man will regard a woman less than three years older than him as a young lady, though if she's more than five years older, he would regard her as a mother figure. You may be a little older than me, but it's still not as much as five years right. Long Houchen gave Luke Eleven an hesitating glance, murmuring, was this a success or not? Luke Eleven chuckled in response, it clearly went well. Trust me Captain Long, you clearly cannot be as experienced as me on this kind of matters. Having said this much, as soon as he looked at Kia in Long Houchen's arms, he naturally stopped speaking further. It was at this time that Lin Xin left the villa. Seeing his happy, vigorous, and spirited face, everyone came to understand that these two had become pretty close to each other. Sima Zian grabbed Lin Xin with envy, has drug bro, your treat. Han Yu pressed Lin Xin from the other side, should be a great meal. Lin Xin declared with a smile, how about having a treat of big bro's drugs instead? Go to hell. Long Houchen gave Lin Xin a deep look, but didn't say anything. However, his look was already telling Lin Xin a lot, go, let's go to the transaction center. I have to buy gifts for Shina. Lin Xin advanced, shooting up forward like a meteor. Chen Yinger grimaced wryly, truly shameless. Did she even accept? And you're already calling her Shina, Shina like that. Lin Xin turned back, proudly replying, how could she not accept? I have been extremely sincere. In the future, Shina will be a part of my life, even more important than my own life. Long Houchen passed through Lin Xin's side, let's go now, to the business center. At this time, a group of 30 years old looking men and women stood at the entrance of the Demon Hunt Transaction Center, discussing together, fifth brother, we are only missing 10,000 contribution points to advance from the general grade to the commander grade. With boss training in seclusion, we are for now unable to run missions to gain these. How about selling some equipment to try to gather these 10,000 points? A slim middle-aged person clad in a wind elemental magic robe asked. The one he called fifth brother was a sturdy man with a robust build. With his height over two meters, his broad shoulders and the martial attire he was clad in, his entire body's muscles stretched taut, but surprisingly, only his eyes were very little. Younger brother, hello. You are newly formed demon hunt squads, right? The fifth brother stopped Long Houchen, saying this with a smile. Long Houchen unconsciously nodded. They had already advanced to the general grade, but it was still accurate to say that they were a newly formed demon hunt squad. The fifth brother declared with a smile, yes, as I thought. It's like this, the mission tower's side asked us to look for you, to assign you an internal mission exclusive to your demon hunt squads. Hello mister. We are coming back right from a mission, how could they already send us another mission? Long Houchen asked with some doubts. The fifth brother chuckled, don't worry. It looks that you have run into quite big troubles during your last mission. Rest at ease, this mission isn't any dangerous, it is an internal mission, which can be treated as a test for newly formed demon hunt squads like yours. Mister, has the mission tower assigned us with another mission? 
Long Houchen asked. Fifth brother replied, the mission is very simple. I am the object of your mission. In view of your exceptional performance in your last mission, the mission tower decided to give you an internal mission. This mission can be called a reward mission. If you can complete it, you will obtain a great reward of contribution points. It consists on staking your own contribution points as gamble and choose someone amongst you to challenge me. If you win, you will immediately earn 10 times these contribution points. Hearing him, Long Houchen's comrades were eager to give it a try, this was a 10 times reward. And furthermore, they had a good confidence towards Long Houchen's power. Mister, we should be able to choose whether to accept this mission or not, shouldn't we? Seeing that you are a member of the 8th General Grade Demon Hunt Squad, how could juniors like us be a match for you? This mission simply doesn't give us any chance at all. Boss, go against him. He's only at the fifth step, so we should still have a chance at it. Lin Shin whispered in a low voice at Long Houchen's ears. Luke 11 remained calm and collected, as he stated, Mr., can you give us a proof that you are at the fifth step of cultivation? And will you bring your stake? Luke 11 revealed a smile, many thanks to you, Mr. But we gained these contribution points with difficulty, so we are of course careful about it. Let us discuss it for a moment, before we decide on whether we accept this mission or not, is that be okay? Fifth brother nodded, of course it's okay. I'll be waiting for you there, you can look for me after thinking about it between yourselves. As he said this, he turned around and walked to the other direction. After fifth brother left, Lin Shin immediately told Long Houchen in excitement, boss, such a chance. It's a ten time contribution point rewards. If we manage to beat him, we will have over a million contribution points in the end. Long Houchen unhappily replied, are you dreaming? How could meat pie rain from the sky? I felt that this Mr. Fifth Brother was really suspicious. If this was a mission from the mission tower, it should have been given to us through a staff member. But he directly looked for us. And your thinking is not reasonable. He belongs to a general grade demon hunt squad. So if they had a million contribution points, wouldn't they have relied on it to get promoted to the commander grade, instead of giving us this mission? Houchen, you are really clever. This guy has come to swindle us of our contribution points. Luke 11 said with a grotesque smile on his face. Long Houchen was kind-hearted, but not inflexible. Since the other party wanted to bully their side, how could they leave it at that? I don't have an absolute confidence, because many variables have to be taken into account. Although the opponent is at the fifth step, he should be at the peak of the fifth step right now, and his combat experience won't be inferior to ours. Long Houchen stated calmly. Wang Yuan Yuan asked, Captain, how much confidence do you have to win? When Long Houchen smiled, his sunlit smiling face caused Wang Yuan Yuan to become blank, I'd say 90%. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.